In its second budget since forming government, the federal liberals continued with the vision they set for the country in the 2015 election. This meant firming up previous commitments for infrastructure, innovation, and social priorities. For the transit industry, however, the 2017 federal budget was groundbreaking in a number of ways. The government followed through on its $20.1 billion commitment to transit infrastructure. Ambitious transit projects are expected to transform Canada's cities over the next decade. These projects include the Ottawa Light Rail Transit, the Calgary Green Line LRT, the Smart Track Project in Toronto, the Réseau Express Métropolitain in Montreal, and the Vancouver Broadway Subway Project. The Public Transit Infrastructure Fund provides short-term funding to help accelerate municipal investments. Funding is being provided to support the rehabilitation of public transit systems, the planning of future system improvements and expansions, enhanced asset management, and system optimization and modernization. The goal of these investments is to help improve commutes, cut air pollution, strengthen communities, and grow Canada's economy. However, how does the government ensure the process for identifying and approving projects that supports the outcomes we want? The federal government is taking an outcomes-based approach to all funds, meaning that rigid eligibility criteria will not be applied. Projects identified by provinces, municipalities, and transit agencies that meet a stated outcome such as economic growth or greenhouse gas reduction can be proposed for funding outside of an eligible category list. Overall, there's a lack of federal influence. The government comes in on an ad hoc basis to give money to certain projects. So, what should be the focus in eligible categories? What criteria or conditions for funding need to be in place? To really achieve the Transportation 2030 vision, there needs to be a clear framework that can be applied to infrastructure policy. The Ministry of Transport can focus on allocating its funds by including accessibility in its criteria. In addition to cost-benefit analysis and multi-criteria analysis, an assessment of accessibility levels in an area and how these might change over time is also a valuable tool in planning that is needed for project appraisals. An emphasis on accessibility will ensure that better use is made of existing transport infrastructure and consideration is given to the best locations for development to ensure access by all modes of travel. As a condition for future projects, the federal government can demand integrating land use plans with transportation plans. To do so, the government should prioritize projects where all developments should be infill and public transport centered and aim to achieve a design where car journeys are a minority of mode share. These policies are important in the long run as they provide the preconditions for a less car dependent urban way of life in the future. In Australia, for example, transport proposals are assessed against the extent to which they align with integrated transport and land use planning strategies, including urban renewal and housing supply. In Atlanta, Georgia, the project will implement an approximately 9.4 mile bus rapid transit route connecting the Summerhill neighborhood to the heavy rail system and the Atlanta streetcar network. The project will increase commuting choices and provide low-cost, efficient connections between employment areas, higher education, major attractions, and medical facilities within Atlanta's urban core. Copenhagen, Stockholm, Frankfurt, and Hong Kong are just a few of the other cities with policies that direct development to nodes on the regional rail system. The issues at the interface of transport and land use are best addressed when they are the responsibility of one department at either national or local level. Canada can learn from these examples of integrating transportation and land use planning and should therefore encourage institutional structures that facilitate this.